I'm standing next to two Amicus. Uh, they're our latest generation uh, of, of humanoid robot designed for human robot interaction. So the reason for making a robot that looks like a person is to interact with people. So face, human face is a very high bandwidth communication tool. And that's why we've built these expressive robots. A lot of people working on AI, uh, interaction, all kinds of new apps that are using uh, vision systems, uh, segmentation, face recognition, speech recognition, voice synthesis. But what you don't see is the hardware to run all that software on. So uh, what we're trying to provide is a platform for AI. Uh, it's really been sort of 15 years in gestation. Uh, it's got a very different look on the on the outside. So we've gone for something. We've tried to be gender neutral, race neutral. We're just trying to make something that has the basic human characteristics, expression without uh, putting anything else on top of that. So hence the gray faces. And a lot of communication is not verbal. So it's not all about speech. It's about expression. It's about gestures. A, a, a simple move like that can mean, uh, you know, a thousand words. The robot doesn't have to say anything. So uh, the last thing we wanted to make was a robot that says, please repeat the question. You know, so it's about trying to do natural human interaction. So imagine there's been a lot of talk about metaverses recently. Imagine taking your metaverse character out into the real world. You'll need some embodiment for that. So you wanted to take your virtual self to a meeting in New York, Hawaii, Hong Kong, um, send a robot. The cost is uh, really variable on, on what the capabilities are, uh, but it's north of 100,000 uh, UK. Uh, and uh, it, yeah, it's really about what you need your robot to do.